Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all having a great Wednesday. Well, as promised, I will be starting on this flowers and trees and vines and whatever it, I don't know what it's actually called, if it's actually got a real name. How's that? But we are going to be starting in this area right here and I'm going to be using 939. And the only reason for that is that it had more of that symbol, like, basically, excuse me, together. So, that's what we're going to do. And I'm using my owl needle minder, because can't you just see those owls perching in that tree? Or trees? It is a tree. A tree. Yep. In this tree. Yeah. Can't you just see them on a branch? Yep. Had to do it. Thank you. Olivia or Anita, I think it was Olivia that sent me that one. Yeah. So what is everyone up to? Are you stitching today or, or not? Or... Okay. Needs a little more crunching. Just, just a bit. Yeah. So I can get it in my little grubby fist here. No, it's not grubby. Are you kidding? No. These hands don't touch cross-stitch unless it's, they're clean, believe me. But it's just a little bit stiff fabric, but if I had just taken five extra seconds, but, you know, I just wanted to get on with the stitching, right? Because that's just what I do. Now, I don't know why it had one symbol there. Of that blue I don't know that it looks the same on the other side or not but we're, we're gonna go with it if it doesn't match the other side then I am going to take it out see that's how that that rolls and it probably helped if I crossed all my stitches huh holy cow good way to start huh yeah, you know me. I usually don't start with 939 or 310 because 9 out of 10 times, that's the background color. But we're just rolling with it today, okay? Yeah, so I am so happy. It is Wednesday. Holy cow. Yeah, it's been a week. Monday was all kind of messed up because I went in at a different time. But it turned out to be a good day, so we just keep moving. And then yesterday, it was kind of busy when I first got there, but not overly so. And at about 5, 6 o'clock, it just died down, and I had a little group, and then nobody, and then a little group, and then nobody. So, we just, we just had a good evening and got through it. It was not, you know, overdone and all that, and... So, yay! Yeah, it, things are starting to wind down just a bit during the week because we've got kids going to school, you know, in different parts of Colorado or wherever they come from. Usually, you know, Denver, Colorado Springs, places that are semi-close to us, or they at least go through here, I will say that. So, yay! Yeah, but this was just too beautiful to uh, not start. Yeah, you know me. I got starditis, but yeah, I like this. And I, I just don't know how the, the confetti is going to go, you know. So I'm going to try to put in a couple threads, full threads, you know, six strands, um, of thread or floss um, for each one of the colors if I can and I need my thimble because yeah I have chewed up that finger from needles so we just cannot touch that area but once I have my thimble on I am good so I stitched a little bit on the 
the rainbow dragon last night, but eh, I just wanted to sit there and kind of veg and it wasn't so busy. It was just weird, you know. I mean, you'd have like eight people and then nothing for an hour, you know. Or people that just came and got gas. They didn't come in. And it was it was just bizarre. It was kind of tiring. So I listened to my audiobook. Right now I'm listening to a Lisa C. S. E. E. is the last name. Book called oh lord what is it called I can't even look it up <sighs> something like the tan family or circle of women something like that it's about a lady whose grandmother was a doctor back in the uh Oh, anywhere from 14 to 1600s, somewhere like that, in China. And it's really good. I've read um, oh, at least two or three of Lisa C's books. In fact, I read them, not listened to them on audio. And they were really seriously... I have a loop. You're just going to mess with me, right? Okay. Pull each one. This happens frequently to me because I get in a hurry and then the thread, I don't let it dangle or separate it some days. We got it now, I think. It's very well printed. Everything's so nice and big. I like that part. But yeah, so I've been listening to this audiobook. I, I don't get very much listening time done this time of year. But it's really a good book. So, And I got it off of Audible. I have my Audible account there. I've tried other places and I was like, no, I'm just not that desperate to listen to just any old book. I like to go to a place that has a wide selection and, you know, has the most of what I, you know, the authors I like to listen to is where I was going with that. Sorry. Yeah. So... But it's kind of change of pace from Preston and Child. I listen to a lot of Preston and Child books. And, you know, you just got to do something different after a while. And I have listened to uh, a lot of Nora Roberts. Get tired of that. So go on to another author. And I've got about four or five that I like. But I just can't read and cross-stitch at the same time. So that's where Audible came in. Where did that needle go? Holy cow. This is yellow. It's going to wind around here so we'll see oh, and of course what happened to you seriously do I want to know oh my goodness we're just having a day huh okay pull it all out of there It really got messed up. Hang on. There'll be a delay due to uh, operator error here. 
about time to get out a new thimble. This one's getting kind of big on my finger. I keep pushing it down. Yeah, I know. I've got 500 threaders at my disposal, and I thread it the old-fashioned way. Yeah, okay. But I think this will be beautiful when it's done. I could have started with that red symbol, but, you know, yellow was available. The red symbol was um, that, this yellow, I don't know. It looks really bright yellow there, but it's not. It's got more of a, I don't know what the word is, a gold tinge to it. It's not like canary yellow. So hopefully it'll come out a little bit darker. Not as dark as, say, antique gold or anything like that. But it is a pretty color. And I think this is going to kind of be like that cat and the fish once I get it started. It had like a pattern to it. And I think sooner or later this will have a pattern look. You know, especially around that border. But I wanted to start at the top and usually I start on the right top right hand side but not always not always well I kind of worked myself right into a, a hole over here okay we'll go over here like I said the thread is nice but every once in a while you know I get a little carried away and don't let it dangle and do you uh, separate your threads you know, before you stitch three strands, or do you just separate the six strands, just three on one side and three on another? How do you do it? I know some people separate their their thread. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, they probably have less mishaps than I do because of it. But yeah, usually I just can't. Can't wait to stitch. It's like a brand new box of freaking crayons, you know. I just got a color. Been that way since I was five, so okay, or probably before. Whenever I started coloring, you know, in earnest. I got. I always loved a new box of crayons. Get it out. Get a color book. I was good for all day. I mean, just set me in a corner, I'm fine. Don't have to talk to nobody. I could color for hours. So. That's kind of the way I feel when I get a new cross stitch. And stitch and stitch and stitch. Sometimes I even forget to eat. I know it's sad, but true. Come on. Be nice. So, no grand plans for the weekend that I know of. I haven't talked to my daughter, so don't know anything anything new or all, but I guess all the let's call them open houses for the school, you know, for the grades that the kids are in. <coughs> uh, they're all next week. They usually have them a couple days before. Now, I don't know. My grandson, he's in middle school, so they may do things differently there, which is totally fine. So. <sighs> I'm going to leave these you can't see what I'm doing. I'm going like this on the bottom. Hello. These two. I'm just going to go where the, the main part of the 
symbol is at so I don't have to stop and start. You're just being a crazy one over here. It's not like we don't have any more clips. We have plenty of clips. I was watching, <clears throat> I went to one of the sites that I do a review for, and I was looking at tools, and I found out something very interesting that I've never seen happen before. So, you remember those great big huge claw clips that I got. I don't have them out. They're buried over here somewhere. Like this. And they have the big grab, you know, the part you grasp to open it up. They had a bar, shall we call it. I, uh, It was like a round tube, if you will. And they rolled it up on the tube so far. And then I'm just going to use my scissors. Don't get carried away and don't think that I'm going to cut through that. So they took that claw thing and they put it here. And when they did that, like that, um, it held it in place so that you could just stitch along. I was like, well, that was just like totally in G. I've never seen, I don't stop to look at all the, uh, the tools and their little, you know, all the little pictures they have for each tool. I never even thought about it. But I thought that was pretty cool that that would just stay there and then you could stitch while it, those clips held together because I never got onto those clips. I tried to use it on my ginormous ones. Of course, it will hold it in place, but it kept flopping on the ends and getting stuck like on the couch, on the other side of the couch and over here. And it just... It, it just ruined my entire chi to, to stitch. So, I'm like, there's got to be a purpose for these things. But I had never seen that, that bar thing. So, I may have to get me one of those bars. So, I don't know. But, I mean, I know that it would only really work if you were doing it on a table. Of which, the only time I stitch on this table is when I'm making a video for y'all. So, if y'all got any insight to all that as to how it might work someplace else, if you were, say, sitting, like, on a couch or on a chair. Because I have some really wide, wide cross-stitch. And, yeah, I know. I should use my, my scroll frame. But the problem with that is that I can't do my sewing method when it's in my scroll frame. Plus, it just kills my neck. I don't have a stiffish really uh, sitting chair. What is going on? Are you kidding me? Well, I guess it. Okay. When in doubt, you know my rule. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Yep, I just cut it out and stitch it. And if, when I finish, I need to go over another, go over a thread to pull it down or hold it down. I do that. Yeah. I don't know. I must have jerked it too hard and it broke the thread. Okay, so we'll start here. But yeah, I I just cannot use that scroll thing. There has to be a decent hard chair, if you will, to sit in and give me better support than the couch. Because the couch just sinks down too far. For me to do that and then to hold my arms in this position the whole time that I'm stitching it just kills my shoulder just absolutely and I do have a smaller I'm trying to figure out where to stitch I'm talking and not paying attention here I have a smaller 
scroll frame if it's not too much shorter. In fact, when I'm sitting with it on the couch, it seems higher than the scroll frame. So, and I can't justify getting, um, they have a, like a, a lap size, like a smaller one, but it's so tiny, it won't accommodate any of these things that I'm working on. So, I, I use my lap stand when I do counted because it needs to be in a hoop and all works well with that. But otherwise, mm, nope. So, I just need the right height of a chair. I noticed that, uh, what's her name? Nicola got one of those pataki frames. I looked that up. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I mean, it looks like it works really fine and it's beautiful, but no. Uh, there's another thing I cannot justify is a $1,500 frame. Yeah, it'll last you a lifetime, but mm, mm -mm. no. And it just seems bulky to me with that wood. I would sooner get, what is it? Is it called K's Creation? Or K, K, what do they call that other one? Those are really nice. But yet again, you're sitting in a sturdy chair when you use it. So, we'll just keep using my little lap stand for my counted and keep doing the stamp stuff in, what do you call it, in my hand. It, it Nine out of ten times it works the best for me. And another thing with having a scroll frame, you'd have to have, I'd have to have 50 sets of rods to start out with if I put everything on a scroll frame. Because you'd want to change it out and work on something else. And you really don't want to take it off of the, <clears throat> off that, those rods. And I know you can get like extra rods to go with these things. But yeah. So that was kind of a disappointment when I first started cross stitching. I found out I just, no, couldn't use it. So, anyway, yeah, yesterday it kind of was like white cloudy, if you will. There's dark cloudy and then there's white cloudy. It was like that all day long. Then it got really nasty looking, didn't do a thing, didn't rain, didn't even rain a drop. So, and the, the, it wasn't windy or anything strange and it got up to almost 85 degrees yesterday. It's a good thing I left my air conditioner on while I was at work so that it was nice and cool in the house when I got home. We had the air conditioner running at work. It was so warm. But we have those nice new, uh, I don't know if they're triple or double pane glass. They're very nice. And they hold in, hold out the heat, if you know what I mean. And in the winter time, they're nice. It's nice and warm in there. So nothing wrong with those windows. It stays good and cool in the store, and some days you need that air conditioning just for, what do you call it, air flow. So, fun times. Okay, I think we're going to just stop right there. I'll go down there. So I'll probably work on this and the dragon and I'm going to try to finish. I said that last week, did I not? I'm going to try to finish old Peter Rabbit. And when I get ready to uh, wash it, I'll do a video. I don't know how I'm going to frame it but yet, but there will be a video. 
make sure that everything comes out, you know, all the print and stuff comes out. Now, it's a joy Sunday, so it should have absolutely no issues. But that's why joy Sunday rolls. They haven't had issues since I can't even remember when. It just doesn't happen to that company. But they've been at it for a bit. I don't even know. Anybody know how long Joy Sunday's been in business? Seems like since I started like on stamped cross stitch, they've always been there. So, I mean, and I knew they existed prior to all that. But I just, I don't know when. I don't know when they started. I'd have to look it up. I haven't delved into the history of the Joy Sunday Company. All right, guys. Well, I think that is going to be about all for today. Didn't make it back down through there, did I? But I'm glad I started it. Now, you know, later on. Oh, please go through. Please go through. Please go through. Please. Please. Thank you. I'll tie that off. I'll start back over here with the blue and the red and blah, blah, blah. Like, maybe try to get this little fourplex right here. Sorry. Move it over. This little fourplex done here. And see how the colors are going to look. You know. I'm seeing one, two, three, four. Maybe five or six symbols in this area. So, yeah. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.